Hi everyone, it's the English Cine here and this video is going to be a new look at the new game pack in The Sims 4. It is the Parenthood pack, however I wanted to put this clip in I guess you could say because as a lot of you may have heard if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram I have taken a break obviously I haven't uploaded for like the past week um, and that's because I attended the Ariana Grande concert where the massive tragedy happened on Monday night and so I kind of wanted to take time out for myself and also I just didn't really feel like being all energetic and happy and positive when something this big has gone on one not only in my hometown but two I was actually there at but this isn't about me um I just wanted to tell you guys why I haven't uploaded in case you only watch my videos and you didn't know about that I'm fine we I was there with Danielle my girlfriend as you guys know and we walked away unscathed luckily like I mean I don't, I don't even know what to say like my heart goes out to every single person affected there were so many young people there but seeing them all be so brave and positive has really helped me personally because I just I didn't know really know how to feel but then seeing like the girls who have been injured who are in hospital at the minute they're all just so positive and brave and I just hope that every single person pulls through on that note I will leave plenty of links down below I know a lot of you guys are actually quite young who watch my videos but if you can afford to donate at all to any of the links down below I'll put like the main one which Ariana herself has supported and I'll put some of the more personalized ones to help with the victims families injured uh, the injured people like help with their fuel to get to the hospital to get like their child recovered and things I will leave all the links down below that I can find I will be donating along with you guys so if I'm not as kind of energetic as you guys are used to in this video I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on why that was and I also don't want to be like pretending to be positive right now this is taken a toll on me it's taken a toll on Manchester it's taken a toll on the UK as like a country so I really hope that each and every one of you who has been affected by this news stay strong we can fight against this and we just gotta stay positive that's the biggest thing that we can do is just not let them hurt us any more than they already have but thank you guys for watching this clip links will be down below if you do have anything to donate i understand that a lot of you are young and it's totally fine if you don't have anything to donate that is a-okay just send your words of support to people online who need it but thank you guys for watching and we'll get into the overview of the creator sim items in the sims 4 parenthood so guys i'm gonna start with the males just because this is the sim that i have up at the minute so we're gonna start with the adults because it is parenthood so i'm guessing there'll be a few things for the parents as well in this pack so let's go up here we don't have any new tattoos i actually just filmed like two seconds of this video and forgot to hit the record button so i already know that we don't have any new tattoos um we do have new skin details which is the acne it is it's just a creator sim feature so I don't think this like sporadically appears in your sims games like on their face oh he currently has uh he has a skin on which will not show the acne I don't think but there we go so um yeah acne is back in this pack this is the little icon for this pack as well um like i said it doesn't just show up in your sims games like randomly like in the sims 2 where they just got like a pimple that they could squeeze um it's a create a sim feature so you can just have like one spot like a blemish or you can have a couple of blemishes on your face this actually looks super realistic like this is awesome like he doesn't even have a custom skin on right now and he looks really good that's really cool feature so we're gonna leave that on him for the time being i actually prefer this one no new teeth which is fine because we already have braces if we didn't have braces i would have kind of expected them to um appear in this 
pack, but we already have them. I think this pack is $19.99 in the UK. I think that's how much game packs cost. I'm fairly sure. Uh, I always forget how much game packs cost quite honestly um so let's go down to parenthood we have five game packs now that's crazy so one new hairstyle for the males um i actually really like this hairstyle it does look like a few of the ones that we already have um I feel like The Sims 4 definitely has hairstyles like this already, but hey, still a nice addition and I will probably use it quite a bit. So we're going to leave that on him. Just one for the males. Yep, just one. And facial hair, I think we got like preteen-esque. I should probably do this on a preteen, but I mean young adults can look like preteens anyway so you get kind of get like a peach fuzz so you kind of have like a fuzz and like their mustache isn't completely like joined to their beard which I really like I actually have custom content like this so it's quite nice to have it as actual content and then just a mustache because some people do just grow mustaches before they actually get anything else as well so we're gonna leave that on him he does look like a preteen at the moment bless him um hats let's check if we get any new New hats in this pack no no new hats in this one um accessories let's check that parenthood no new accessories for the boys either do we get new traits in this i haven't seen the sims live stream like the official live stream that they did so i really don't know whether we have any Okay, so these don't have any new traits, I don't think. The adults. Not that I can tell, anyway. So, no new ones in this. Any new, like, walk styles or anything? Snooty, swagger, feminine, tough. No. No new walk styles either, which is fine. I mean, walk styles, I kind of forget that they're a thing anyway, unfortunately. Right, let's move on to the clothing. Parenthood. Ooh, I like this. So this is a hoodie um, with like rolled up sleeves and these like cord, they're like really cool. This looks very detailed and I like the pattern, like that standard pattern. Oh my god, this is awesome. And then it just comes in your block colours. <gasps> this colour pattern is really, really nice. I really like this hoodie. It kind of adds like something a little bit different with like the ties. That's awesome. Then we have this t-shirt and long sleeve t-shirt underneath. Would you believe I used to wear this kind of stuff? When I was like 12 or so, maybe younger than that, maybe like 10, 11, my brother was really into skateboarding and I was like a huge tomboy. So I would always try to wear like the same kind of stuff that my brother did. I did skateboard as well. Um, so this kind of gives me like that kind of vibe. This does seem to be like more of a sports t-shirt because it's got like a raccoon on it. Um, but then I swear I used to have like this t-shirt, like legit this t-shirt. Um, and I used to wear it over a long sleeve t-shirt as well, which is quite funny. Then we have this like shirt, I want to say. It could be a denim jacket, kind of looks more like a shirt to me. <gasps> is this a hint to pets? Bum, bum, bum. Don't take my word for it. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I mean, there's a paw print there, so... Some may think that that may be, this is really cool. So you have like the one with camo on it and then you just have um, a checkered one. I really like this. Kind of looks more like a jacket than a shirt now that I look at it in full detail. Um, but it's a really nice concept. I really like that piece of clothing. Then we have this jumper, which reminds me of like Sims 3 days. I don't know what it is about it, but probably won't get that much use out of it it's a little bit skin tight for my liking maybe on my older sims like my grandparents um i can see that being used and then we have this vest top which is awesome i really like this as well this also reminds me of something that we had in the sims 3 but i really really like it even just as a workout top or like for your teens for like summer periods i know we don't have weather but that kind of feel to it i really really like that but i'm gonna leave him in this hoodie because it's amazing and then let's oh actually let's check full body first really only a bear outfit is that the only thing we got so we got some new bear outfits they look like um 
like Teletubbies. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that's what like the team were going for, but they look like, I guess, is it the, what's the Wiggles? They look like the Wiggles. I mean, I've never personally seen the Wiggles, but they're like colorful and they have fruits on them. So I imagine these being on like a TV show that's like trying to get kids to like eat fruit and they're like, la da 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 da, like happy tree friends, <laughs> although that's not meant for kids. Um, but that's the kind of vibe I get with this kind of bear outfit. I don't really know. It's giving me Teletubby vibes though. So let's just say that they're like the Teletubbies. Um, and then trousers. Let's see what we have. Um, new like sports shorts, which is fine. I'll probably get a lot of use out of these. I use short sports. Short sports? Yes, that's exactly what I was meant to say. Sports shorts quite a lot in like for, um, PJs or for the athletic or these could just be worn as like I'm gonna take his top off actually so we can see how these fit they could just be used as an everyday outfit as well then we have wow wow you are you are stepping out in those jeans would you believe I used to have a pair of jeans like this they were kind of like more like this but with like yellows and on and stuff kind of like this. I genuinely had a pair of jeans like this and I felt confident wearing them, you know? It takes a person to pull these off. Definitely is a look for sure. You kind of look like a magic up, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. You, if you are proud to look like a magic up, then you should rock these trousers. Then we have these, which are I'm guessing like PJ pants. I don't think you could pull these off with uh, much else. Oh, they have little bunnies on. Um, but yeah, like PJ bottoms or um, like tracksuit bottoms if you're going for like this blue one. Again, probably get a lot of use out of them. This is one of my favorite items that I've seen in this pack. It's ripped jeans with a shirt tied around the waist. I have so many shirt like custom content items that my sims can use around their waist because this was never in our game and now it is and it makes me very happy. So there's a bunch of different like colour items that you can use. I really really like this. Yes, I also love the rips in the jeans like they're actually great and this sim actually has like custom hair on him and that actually shows through in the skin, which is awesome. So that's really cool and an awesome little uh, feature. And then these like tracksuit bottoms once again. Quite a lot of like tracksuit bottoms-esque. Um, then let's see if we've got any. We got some socks. Some big old socks over here. Like almost thigh highs. These I'm guessing are again for the more like sporty wear like if you're I mean your sim could wear these with like shorts if they are feeling I'd prefer them to be a little bit shorter if they were to wear them with shorts because that's just gonna look a little bit silly but like I said if your sim's feeling it if they're like an overly confident teenager who's like I'm cool it doesn't matter what I wear then they could probably rock those socks um and then let's check shoes no new shoes shoes for the males. I think that's everything. I think I've gone through everything that I needed to go for. Let's have a look at their um the styles. So we have later skater which is awesome. That's actually pretty cool. Um then we have oh okay so that's the only style that came for the men um but it's called later skater. I actually really like it. I'm gonna stick to these jeans. Um let's put the black and red ones on and then Let's get this hoodie going. There we go. Looking pretty cool. He definitely looks... I'm gonna actually turn him into a teen just so to like show you guys. But yeah, he's, he still looks exactly the same pretty much. Let's be real. Uh, let's turn him back into a young adult. And then going to the females. Um, I'm guessing they have the same skin details as the boys. Uh, obviously she's wearing a custom skin right now so you can't see it but yes they have the three same blemishes as the boys hairstyles we have way more hairstyles for the ladies I love this hair <gasps> that's adorable oh my god that is so cute with the little braid on the side <gasps> I love that oh my god this is gonna become one of my favorite hairstyles ever 
I love it. Then we have, wow, this looks really cool too. Another hairstyle, which is awesome. Um, it does seem a little bit blocky with the, uh, the dye of like how it's dyed in the Max's thing. Like, whoa, that is, you are, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. But yeah, this looks quite blocky, uh, whereas this one is like more faded into it. So this kind of like looks more like highlights, which I like. Um, That's a really cool freaking look. Holy crap. Man, I really like this one. I prefer this one to this one. This one just looks a little bit more like natural. Oh my goodness, she looks so freaking cool. And then we have this hairstyle, which we saw in the trailer, which is kind of like the toddler hair that we got when toddlers were released. Um, it's kind of like this big frizzy bob, which I really, really enjoy. Like, again, looks really freaking cool. Oh my goodness, I love that. So I think I'm going to leave her in this one because that's just adorable. Uh, hats, no new hats. No new accessories for the girls either. I'm guessing we don't get any like makeup either, but let me double check. It's not like yellow, so I doubt, no. We didn't get any new one of that either. I'm guessing they've not got any new traits either. So let's go on to their clothing. We have this blouse, which is kind of like, this is like definition of mum blouse to me. I don't know why, but it speaks to me as just like a major mum blouse. <laughs> I mean, I like it. I probably won't use it much. The black in the black, it actually looks really good. I might use this as a party outfit. Um, but yeah, it kind of just gives me that, hey, I'm a mum, but I'm still trying to look like hip and chic. And I use the words hip and chic to describe myself. So that's the kind of vibe it gives me. Then we have this, which is kind of like the boys, but not open. It's um, just like a vest top. It's actually really cool. Like it's got a cutout on it and then it's got a vest top underneath. The layers that they've gone for on this is really freaking cool. I feel like a lot of these like pack items have lots of layers to them. Then we have this. These clothes definitely seem to be aimed more at teenagers. I actually really like this one. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, a lot of, that's a lot of purple in an outfit, but yeah, these definitely seem to be aimed more at teenagers, but I think they'll be able to pull them off. Again, this is like the grandma sweater. Then we have just a vest top, which, haven't we already got something a bit like this in the game? I think we do. But again, just another vest top um, for your sims to wear. Not as low cut as the men's though. And then this slouchy jumper, which is awesome. I actually really, really like the slouchy jumper. This is cute. I mean, some of the colour options, I'm a bit like, whoa. But it's adorable. I actually really, really like that. That is cute. And then on to bottoms. Again, the girls get... I wish these were skinnier jeans, to be totally honest. Um, but they are a bit like boyfriend jeans, I guess you could say. So they do still suit females. Same colour options as all the boys. That one is bright. Um, then we have these like exercise shorts that have like lycra underneath them as well, which is pretty cute because I know that I probably wouldn't be comfortable wearing these shorts or shorts, which are quite baggy, without lycra on underneath, so I'm glad that's an option. Then we have these high-waisted flared-out jeans, which definitely look like something my mother would wear in like the 70s when she was going through like her hippie phase. <laughs> Sorry, mom, if you heard that. Um, but yeah, these are cute. I was actually about to buy some jeans like this the other day. They weren't quite as flared, but the embroidery on them is very cute. I don't know. I just, I don't really use flared jeans in my game that much. I kind of prefer the skinnier jeans, but they're cute. Then we have the PJ bottoms and the tracksuit bottoms, again, like the boys. Full body outfits, again, just one full body outfit, which is the creepy bears, which I'm gonna just call Teletubbies. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the adult fashion. Like, I do like a lot of the pieces, but I feel like some of them I just won't get use out of. I don't know why, but 
they just seem very like color blocky but this jumper i am in love with like this looks amazing and this hairstyle is so cute i think that's it for the adults so let's check if toddlers got anything new wow no new t-shirts we got two new body oh okay i take it back this is cute enough to work as not having oh my god that's adorable a little what are these called dungarees oh my god someone's really doing some work in their garden right now but yes a little dungarees with a stripy t-shirt on that is so cute and then this like jogging bottoms and a hoodie i kind of don't like the check i feel like this is more like a sleepwear outfit yeah they have the same like pattern as the parents pjs i was gonna say this gives me more of like unless you want your toddler to dress like your 80 year old grandpa which you very may well want to <laughs> he would definitely if he were asleep on the checked log cabin sofa that we got with um granite falls he would just blend right in <laughs> you can have him looking like grandpappy though and then accessories no new accessories no new shoes but i'm actually disappointed that we only got two new items for toddlers what about hairs no new hairs oh my goodness no new hats i'm guessing they don't have any facial things nope no new facial things for the toddlers that actually upsets me let's check for oh actually let's check their traits no new traits for the toddlers either. Are we getting new traits in this stuff pack? In this game pack? I feel like we were. But maybe they're like personality traits that you get whilst you play as the sim. Um, but let's change him into a female and see if the girls got anything new. Again, just the two new outfits. Oh, some, um, some little leggings for the girls. So the girls actually did get one more item than the boys. They've got these little like stripy leggings that can go under like, they look like tights. I think I already checked the hairs, but let's double check. Yeah, no new hairs for the females. So they get one new item more than the, uh, yeah. the boys. And then let's age them up into kids and see what the kids get. So, oh, we have these braids with, um, like, little clips in. I had these clips as a child for sure, which is why I think my hairline is so far back is because, like, I had my hair pinned up, like, majority of my childhood. So it's probably, like, pulled it. <laughs> and then we have these ones as well, which are shorter and without the clips. So those are the two new hairstyles for the girls then let's check what else we have i'm guessing no new like facial things for the kids no so the kids don't get like acne or anything but we have seen that the teenagers are able to get that in let's give her braces for the hell of it um but yeah the teenagers are able to get that in create sim we've checked out the hairs no new hats no new accessories no new makeup either but let's check the uh so a few more items of clothing for the kids than toddlers so this pack really does seem to be focused on like young adults teenagers and children uh we have this hand prints t-shirt over here and then also some like paint splattered ones fairly basic t-shirt for your kids i don't know how much i'll use it i don't i'm not a massive fan of the pattern but i mean if you if you want it to look like your kid's been finger painting and has just gone like boom 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 all over themselves then this is for you if you have that particular game style then this pack is for you then we have a hoodie which is really cute i actually really like this hoodie it's more of like a sports type hoodie um like i'll definitely use this for my athletic i probably will use it for everyday there wear as well though because it's pretty cool and it's got some really nice color choices on it actually i really like this one the peach and the blue is really cool then we have this like tattered old t-shirt <laughs> which i don't know if those rips are for fashion or whether these are rips from like your kids like fighting with one another i have no idea it could just be for fashion they could just be trying to pull off like the justin bieber look or the kanye west kind of yeezy vibe but maybe not and then we have this little um 
plaid shirt, which is kind of like cowgirlish, I guess you could say. It's definitely got that kind of vibe to it. I really like this. Um, this color choice is probably what I'll get my use out of it in. But this is really cute as well. Um, and then let's go to bottoms quickly. So we have shorts with another shirt. You could go for the double shirt. I mean, what's better than that? What's better than one checked shirt? two checked shirts. So we have the shorts with the jumper or shirt wrapped around the waist. We have these shorts which match the um, the hoodie. So it is definitely more of a sportswear vibe but these shorts are really cute. I'd probably just use these as normal shorts. Um, the little like I don't know what they call that, but the way that it's cut out is really cute. And then we have this like little pencil skirt, which you don't really see for kids very often. Okay, I probably wouldn't use some of the patterns that come with it, but like the plain ones are cute. I mean, it kind of looks like a dress right now, which is actually adorable. I really like that. So I probably will use this a lot. Um, I don't know. I feel like I always wear my kids wear jeans instead of skirts. I don't know why. And then full body. This is adorable. I love this. Yes. Oh. So they've got some ones that look like patches, which actually in some color tones looks really cool. Others I'm a bit like, whoa, that's a little bit like too much. But in like the more muted tones, I actually really like it. Whereas this one I'm a bit like, my eyes need about 10 seconds to adjust. Um, but the plain one, how many plain ones did we get? Two plain ones, three plain ones. I wish we got more of the plainer versions, but that's actually really cute. Then we have these little PJs, which are adorable. They come in the standard like bunny pattern or a thingy pattern or the checked pattern. Then we have this little summer dress, which looks so cool. It looks like a short like gypsy dress. I actually really really like this. That's a cute little outfit for your little girls and again they can dress up as the random bears if they would like. No new accessories and one pair of shoes. <gasps> Are these jelly shoes? Do we get jelly shoes in The Sims 4? Guys you have no idea how happy this makes me jelly shoes. I used to wear those all the time on the beach as a kid. That makes me happy. <laughs> then let's check out what the boys as kids got. Um, right, let's check. No new hats, so get rid of that. Hair, we just have one new hair right there. Same as the girls. I'm not too impressed with the hairstyles. I kind of wish we got more of a variety in hair, but one or two, I mean, it's still adding to kids. I feel like it's focusing more on the young adults, teenagers in this pack. I don't know why, but that's kind of just like the vibe it gives me. Maybe the gameplay will focus more on the kids once I get into that. I'm not going to be doing a let's play on this pack, but I will be like focusing on it a lot in the let's plays that I already have going on, basically. Then for the boys, we have the same handprint t-shirt. We have this jacket, which is really cool. I like this. It's kind of like a vest over a hoodie over a t-shirt. That's really nice. Why does this look like the Fallout Boy? Um, but I really like this jacket. That's so cute. I am going to be using this all the time. And then we have like a little sports shirt for the boys. Same as the teenagers with like the little like skate top, I guess you could call it. Um, bottoms, we have the shorts with the shirt around it. And then we have these patchwork jeans, which are very cute. Kind of like the girls dungarees, but in jeans form. Obviously, you can use these on girls as well. Um... But yeah, really cute pair of jeans for the boys. And then they just get one PJs. Oh, no new outfits for the boys, really. But, I mean, this jacket is going to be used a lot. I love that. I love this one. 
That's amazing. Any new accessories? Nope. And no shoes for the boys either. So I think I have covered all of the Creator Sim items for this pack. Like I said, I won't be doing a Let's Play on this game pack, but I will be focusing on it. As you guys know, Younguns is coming back next weekend. Some of them are going to have kids, so we're definitely going to like play as the families who have kids as well as Nathan, because he's obviously like the main character. But we will be exploring it a lot in that let's play for sure so thank you all so much for watching this video i hope it gave you like a good overview of what came with the pack so that you can decide whether you want it it is out tomorrow as you're watching this i think it's out on tuesday so i think it's out tomorrow and i think it's 20 pounds don't quote me on it i think it's 19.99 in english pounds so or maybe it's 15.99 i can't really remember it might be 15.99 or 14.99 i don't know but you guys i'm sure will figure it out it will be available on origin thank you to ea for sending this over to me to have a look at before its release it really means a lot and it means you guys get to see my views on it early and decide whether you want the pack if you like the items let me know down below what was your favorite item if you're looking forward to this pack i really feel like the oomph of this pack is going to be its gameplay more so than the items that come with it so i'm really looking forward to hopping into it and actually figuring out like the grounding scheme and stuff like that that's going to be a lot of fun and i reckon that's where your money is really going to show but I will be covering that in a let's play, like I said. But thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, please donate. If you have anything to donate, then just click maybe one or two of the links down below and definitely try to donate as much as you can to help out the victims of the attack that happened on Monday night. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will also have a video up within the next few hours looking at some of the build mode create uh, items and also some of the gameplay. I'm not going to be able to explore it all in a video, but I will be looking at some of it. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to know more about this pack. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!